It would be extremely difficult to mess up a space western where buildings drop from space and starfighters turn into transformers. The basic ideas behind Starhawk are so amazing that Lightbox Interactive could only take them to great places, and the developer absolutely did. Starhawk sets a new creative standard for shooters on any platform, and is arguably the best PlayStation 3 multiplayer game to date. We're ripped salvagers. Damn good ones. We've hit every quota. Never back down from a job. Starhawk's story positions itself as an emotional look at a broken family. Main man Emmett Graves is an angry guy, and understandably so. His brother's back from the dead is the leader of a murderous group of human haters. This sets up some interesting conflict, but these characters kind of suck, so it doesn't go very far. It's tough to care about Emmett's story. He's a shallow dude who only cares about paychecks and lame one-liners. That's what we do. And his brother Logan is evil only for the sake of being evil. There's nothing sympathetic about either of these jerks. Starhawk has such an awesome world, it's just not portrayed very well here. The single-player setup doesn't develop in an interesting way, and it leaves its western themes behind way too soon. On the upside, there's some fun space trucker vibes on the side, and the settings always look awesome. Even if the aesthetic is inconsistent, you're always somewhere you want to be. You bet I am. How's about a mech, brother? The single-player campaign does a great job of easing you into its build and battle system. This mechanic lets you summon structures from space onto the battlefield, and it deepens Starhawk considerably. Basic enemy encounters get crazy when you call in a truck for your NPC pals, fill walls with turrets, or take a hawk ship for yourself. The campaign is definitely meant to prep you for multiplayer, but the attack and defend missions are smart and well-paced, so each one has memorable highlights. Uh, except the last couple. The last act suddenly forgets what makes Starhawk unique, and then relies on dumb video game cliches to close the campaign. Didn't know what hit. Because everyone can build, each multiplayer match is thoughtful. Everyone starts out as equals, and it's their intelligence that wins matches, not their ammo or XP skill bonuses. When a dozen players have the ability to call in tanks and build a fortress, that's when Starhawk is at its best. A typical game of Capture the Flag becomes so unpredictable that no match can play out like it did last time. This is true for the Zones mode too, which has players expanding their spawn points by controlling key areas. Plus, Starhawk is balanced enough that Hawks aren't the key to winning, they're just one of many viable tactics. Everything Starhawk lets players do puts them on a strategic power trip, and it happens for everyone on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. All of this comes together to create something that's unlike other online shooters. You're always contributing to an organized kind of chaos, and Starhawk is consistently satisfying because of that. Starhawk is the start of something special, and its creative brand of objective-based strategy should shelter a strong community for years to come. Get on it! Starhawk might be the best multiplayer the PS3 has to offer. We're travels fast around here. For more on Starhawk, Orbital drop over to IGN.com.